Hello, people. Today, we are going to take a quick look at everything, everywhere, all at once. This was written and directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert and stars Michelle Yeoh, Stephanie Hsu, and Ki Hee Kwan. Yo plays Evelyn Wang, and to say Evelyn is struggling with her life is a bit of an understatement. Her laundry business is failing, she has troubled relationships with pretty much everyone around her. Her meek husband, her free-spirited daughter, her disapproving father, and even her IRS auditor. But then her world gets turned upside down when she is visited by someone from a parallel universe who claims Evelyn is the only one who can save the world. And to do so, she must connect with other versions of herself across many different universes and tap into their superpowers. And then it gets weird. I do not know if there is a word in the English language that can properly describe just how batshit insane this was. And I mean that as a compliment. This was amazing. It's funny, it's emotional, it's creative. They did some very inventive things with what would otherwise be incredibly mundane situations. I mean, when was the last time you went to your local IRS office and a martial arts fight broke out? This is the type of movie that takes anything can happen as a challenge. In order for Evelyn and others in the movie to tap into their cross-universe superpowers, they have to perform some sort of completely random act that they otherwise would never do. And whatever just popped into your head right now is probably in the movie. And that's not the only thing that's completely random. During the fight scenes, anything can be used as a weapon, and I do mean anything. Nothing is too ridiculous. Again, whatever you just thought of is probably in the movie. I never thought I would see the day when a fanny pack would, first of all, be in a movie in the year 2022, and second, be used as a weapon and proficiently. And that is not the weirdest weapon in the movie. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not. It can get weirder. And anytime you see or hear something in this movie that seems like just a cheap one-off gag, and they couldn't possibly have a callback to that later on, oh, oh, they will. They absolutely will. Even if it seems pointless at the time. Especially if it seems pointless at the time. That trophy on the tax lady's desk? Oh yeah. And I am really impressed with the Daniels' attention to detail. Just to give you one example, uh, when we first meet the tax lady, who is played by Jamie Lee Curtis, she has some kind of a brace on her wrist. Now, one of the parallel universes we find her in, I'm not going to give too much away. I will simply say, in that universe, they don't have full use of their hands. So, most tasks that you and I would do with our hands, they do with their feet. In that universe, the brace is on her ankle. And they absolutely did not have to do that. If the brace had just been left out of that scene, I don't think anyone would have noticed. But nope, they did it. And I appreciate that. Those two are just completely mad, and God bless them. Michelle Yeoh is fantastic in this, no surprise there. She is very good at playing this completely overwhelmed woman who just cannot process everything that is happening in her life, as there just are not enough hours in the day. And really, who hasn't been there? And all of her various strained relationships feel very real in spite of all the madness going on around her. Or maybe indeed because of it. I mean, what she's going through is enough to drive anyone insane. She has a lot of trouble communicating with her headstrong daughter, played by Stephanie Hsu. Uh, her father, played by James Hong, who, as I have said before, makes everything better. This is no exception. Just endlessly disapproves of her life choices thinks she married the wrong man, for starters, and her husband, who is played by Ki Hee Kwan, may actually agree with her on that. Speaking of, I cannot believe Ki Hee Kwan is acting again. Oh my god, when he first showed up on the screen, I was so confused because I knew he looked familiar, and I could not place him. It took about 20 minutes before all of a sudden I'm like, short round! Oh my god! I think it's been almost 20 years since he has acted in anything, and I am so glad he's back. And all the people I just mentioned, Shu, Quan, 
Hong, and even Curtis have to play multiple characters across all these different parallel universes. And even though they look the same, no two characters they play are alike. And all of them make it look so easy. Every single one of them can just flip a switch and boom, there's someone else. Give them all of the awards. I don't think I can say much more about this movie without getting into spoilers, but I will say this is easily the best movie I have seen this year so far. It is absolutely wonderful, and if you have not seen it, you must. If it's still playing in a theater in your area, go for it. If not, or if you just don't feel safe going to a theater, which is perfectly understandable, you'll be able to watch it at home eventually, and you should. And that is all I have to say about everything, everywhere, all at once. Till next time, take care.